Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look which is my everyday yet not everyday makeup look because I'm certainly not wearing it every day in quarantine with my grandparents um, and I don't usually wear makeup every single day. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. I'll throw this on if I'm going out to lunch somewhere or something like that and it's very simple I think there's no baking no none, none of that fancy stuff I'm not a makeup expert so I just kind of do what I'm comfortable with and what I like and what I think really enhances my features also I did use a new mascara in this video I'm sorry but my sister got this for me for my bridal shower so I gave it a try I don't know how it turned out let me know what y'all think. So I'm gonna start by putting my hair up in a hair clip. I always do this no matter what I'm doing with my face, whether that be moisturizing my face or doing makeup. I like it to be up and out of the way because for whatever reason, it just really grosses me out to think of my hair touching my foundation. Like as I'm applying it, it just doesn't feel very clean to me. So I'm just gonna start off by going in with the Laura Mercier a tinted moisturizer. My shade is 2W2 Nude. I don't usually use foundation only because I find it to be very cakey on my skin. No matter how much I moisturize or exfoliate, it just doesn't work for me. Take like this much, maybe a pea size amount, and I rub it between my fingers and then I just dab it everywhere I'm gonna be putting it. If I had a beauty blender, I would probably use one, but I'm with my grandparents and I didn't think I would be staying here for as long as I am, which is fine. They're a cool company. Like I said, we play cool games like Go Fish all the time and we have s'mores. I love s'mores. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kinda like dab and gently work that into my skin. Yeah, I'm not really a big foundation fan because I also like my skin to shine through, you know, embrace your natural beauty. Make sure it blends in with your neck. I guess this is kind of unorthodox. It's how I like to do my makeup. So as you can see, it kind of helped with the redness, not really. Evening out the skin tone a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this um, Lancome concealer in shade 160 light buff. There are a couple of products that I love from Lancome and this is one of them. I'm just dabbing that in, kind of bringing it down around my dark circles because they're there. I don't know, I like to use my hands because my hands are clean and like if I'm covering a blemish then I also think that's kind of weird to like touch it on this thing. I don't know, I just, I don't find that very hygienic. We're working with what we got, natural light and our hands. So then I'm just gonna dab it wherever I think I need to, which right now is here. Yeah, okay, it's doing the job a little bit. It's still gonna peek through, but that's okay. I mean, you can use whatever concealer you want, but I'm not ashamed of my skin. I mean, even though it's not always perfect, I, I, don't, I don't mind if it shows some imperfection that doesn't really bother me. I don't really find it necessary to set my face with anything. But I will set my under eyes and then obviously this little guy that I just kind of covered up but not really um, with this Marc Jacobs Loose Setting Powder. This is actually not the... Oh, is it the invisible one? I'm not sure. I don't think this is translucent, but it says 34 invisible finish line. I don't know. I This is my first ever loose powder and I got it because everybody else recommends it. Yeah, so you can see it's just... I mean, everybody knows about this. So I don't know why I'm late hopping on the bandwagon so i'm just gonna take this i think this is a foundation brush i'm not sure it's by real techniques i've had this for eight years this is a multitask brush i don't want too much just like a little bit i don't know if you can see that and i'm just dab it under my eyes quarantine with no tools but hey we persevere at least i have some mirror natural light gotta find the benefits right but yeah anyway okay so that's done and now i'm gonna go in with blush i do use blush before bronzer that's what i like to do um i use this clinique cheek pop blush pop in the shade eight melon pop and i'm just gonna use that same brush i know this is such a jv operation y'all but it's totally okay because this is how i really do my makeup <sighs> every day 
well, you know, when I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna smile a little bit and go up, 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 dab, dab, dab. We're always dabbing. It doesn't even matter if we're doing our skincare routine or our makeup routine, totally always dabbing. Just for a little extra color. I like to do that. And then next, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. It's in the shade Golden Light. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see that. Again, I'm seriously going in with the same brush. What? Um, to do that light bronzing. And actually what I'll do is I kind of like pinch it here because I don't have like the proper brush. Um, and I go in like this and I'm just gonna, you know, lightly go up. I'm new, new to makeup. Just kidding. And so then I'll just take it and bring it underneath. Try and like get rid of my double chin. It's seriously there, look. Yeah, it's there. Just like my wrinkles, just no one seems to notice them except me. It's usually how it goes with flaws, isn't that right? <sighs> we got through that. Okay, next, I know what you're thinking, she's gonna use the same brush for her highlighter, but no ma'am, I am not, or sir, I am not. I actually have this brush that I got. My mom got me a subscription to Ipsy, I think. And they sent me this, I think it's a highlighter brush. It looks very similar to all the highlighter brushes I see people use. Or I think, actually I know, this is a contour brush, but I don't like it. And sometimes I use this for my highlighter, but I'll use this one today. I usually use this one if I'm going for a lot more highlighter, like, you know, like a, cool, a really big, really big chunk of highlight, but I'm not, I'm going to class. I wish I could show you my product, but I dropped it, so it's, it's loose, um, but this is the Dior Dior Skin Nude Luminizer. I got this not too long ago, actually. I used to have a loose highlight, you know, kind of like a loose powder. No, 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 no. Worst idea ever. It spilled all over my makeup bag, and it's still there. I've washed it twice and still somehow manages to, like, seep on to my other products and so I will never use a loose highlight again but I just kind of like go up like this hi nice to meet you and then I just kind of take it along my skin here wow you can yeah oh look there it is huh who knew then I bring it up just slightly I bring it up just slightly over here this is where the bad light is so you can't see but down the bridge of my nose and my base is done Whoa, man. I feel like I'll be giving makeup experts hernias during this. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I use my bronzer, and I just take it a little bit on this Real Techniques domed shadow brush. I use it for everything on my eyes, either that or I'll use my finger. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it in my crease and wave it around and pretend like I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna do the exact same thing Now usually I do my eyes before I do my base, but In a very Cayman fashion I forgot that I wanted to do that and I started doing my base and do the same thing with my blush. I know I mix the two. I feel like it just kind of like brings your whole face together. And so then I just kind of mix that in, you know, I bring it out and bring it in. and Yeah, it looks cute. Like it's just a little pop of color on your eyes and no one would ever know you're using your blush and bronzer. Now, I guess you just have to be careful. You don't want it to look like you've got pink eye, right? Because that would be a big like no-no. My sister, actually, for, I was in my bridal shower, she got me this. I'd asked her to get it for me. It's the Pericone MD No Makeup Mascara. Now, the only problem with this is the brush, which, of course, I wasn't paying attention to when I said, oh, why don't you get it for me? It's one of those, like, plastic brushes that has those little spiky things. Whereas, this Lancome one has the bristle brush that I really like. So I have trouble using this because I think it like clumps a little easier. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy and don't know how to use this brush correctly, but I'll go ahead and use this because she got it for me. And also, I'm not sure if this is black or brown. I'm just gonna, oh no, see it's doing it. Look, oh no. I like a very natural looking mascara look. 
Maybe if I'm careful, it'll be okay. Oh, actually. Oh no, it's happening. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Hey, nice to meet you. I have falsies on. Just kidding. Actually, that's not bad at all. I guess I just had to take my time. Mm. Thanks, Brandy. Love you. It, I really do like it. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. This is nice. All right, next eye. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, the trick is you twirl it. That explains it. Uh-oh. This is not working as well. Let's see. How do I fix this? Hmm. 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 Help! I'm not a mascara girl, y'all. I'm out of my league here. I mean, it's pretty. Maybe I need to go back in. I actually need to go grab my spool to separate my eyelashes. I'll just do my bottom lashes first, though. I love my bottom lashes because they're so long. Well, I think they're long. Some people don't like putting mascara on their bottom lashes, which I think is really weird. I'm doing my everyday makeup look with the new mascara. I kind of feel like that's false advertising. What do we think? Can you see that? Mm. Sorry about the lighting. I think I kind of look cute. Honestly, it's a little darker than I would usually do because it kind of got on like, you know, it's kind of acting as like a, like an eyeliner. Whatever. I wonder, maybe I'll try using this with a bristle brush. Who knows? My new philosophy in life is simpler is better, right? No, just kidding. I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown. I'm actually just gonna start using a brow gel. I ordered it online recently. It hasn't arrived yet, um, but I'm kind of over the pencil. I feel like it really like makes my eyebrows just look all muddy, but honestly, I, I don't even really like doing anything with my eyebrows because I think that they look okay. These are my natural brows, as I'm sure you can see. I don't pluck them. I like my brows natural. I don't think I need to pluck them. I just like them looking like them. Let's see, how do they look? Yep, there they are. Lastly, I go in with a tinted, I don't wanna say, this isn't a lip balm. Actually, it is lip balm. It's the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in the color 04 Coral. I have their pink, but I can't find it. I have a coral, which I guess is gonna be okay. It's cute. And there we go. That is my everyday, not everyday, makeup routine. Let me know what y'all think. I'm sorry about the lighting. Sorry about my hair. Sorry about the whole situation, but we're making do.